As we promised, uh, we are going to create an end-to-end application by using Spring with Data Couch, uh, Spring Data Couchbase. So let's generate this project by selecting the Web and Couchbase model over here. Now extract it. Okay. Now go and import this project. So as we have already seen, we have created a, a bucket. Um, so this is empty bucket, there is nothing. So for that, we, we're gonna create one document. So let's go here, create a document called student. And annotate this process. Document import this package now private string student ID private string first name private string last name okay generate the get it setter for this Now, in data center, uh, let's add one more um, field called private address. Okay, uh, for this, let's uh, have it in a class static class address private string city private string street private string zip code private string country okay uh, now let's have the get answer for this we have this get answer for this now we have one more get answer for address generate getter and setter so now our then then we'll annotate with direct id at the right field so we'll keep um, only student id as i mean we'll only annotate student id as at the right id other attributes will annotate as at the right field so at the what is at the right id id represents the document key um, but if we make uh, that ID as uh, annotated with added field, so that ID will be available as a part of the JSON document as well. So let's uh, import this, okay. Um, so don't get confused. So this ID uh, is part of Spring Data Annotation as well as SDK. Either of the one you can import, there is no problem. So now let's um, write our repository student repository interface student repository interface which will extends dot repository and uh, well, let's have one custom method as well here so which will give us a list of students by get student by first name okay string f name okay so our repository interface is ready now let's write the okay i have kept everything in the as part of the same package let's get a service so this is an interface let's give this an interface let's define some method called list of student get student by first name string 
have string then have a string student get student by id string id then let's have void create student and we'll create a student document we'll delete one student document from Southspace we'll see that operation as well rising one of the endpoint let's import the list okay now let's have an implement service implementation So let's annotate with a thread service so that Spring will be able to identify the service component which will implements implements student service. Now we'll add all these unimplemented methods. Okay. So get student by first name. So return so first we need to have the student repo here we need to inject the student repo here right student repo history student repo just inject by using the auto add annotation so we injected the student repo here then we need to use student repo dot get first name this is done this is also student repo dot get student sorry this is find one the inbuilt function of um create repo repository so this will be repo dot save student and this one will be delete okay so we are done with service implementation class now the last part is the config we are not going to write um, the configuration file rather we will copy it from my github repo one of the project so so that way it will be faster so Let's copy this whole class over here. So this will be the example because the package if you look at com.example everywhere and then import all this packages. Now this is done. So bucket name is student and this one is a local host password. The type key i'll tell you the type key later if you have time so now the last part is the controller so what we can do is we can uh, copy some of this from my github repo so uh, so that we'll save some time then I'll explain you. So, so let's oh and a lot of things. So let's copy some of this method. Couple of methods we can write. So let's change this to student. So get student by first name. Okay, let's give this one as a student and uh, this is fine. Let's remove the logout for now. Okay, we need to have the student service. Get the red auto. We need to inject the student service here. Student service. Service. get 
so don't buy first name. Student. Get student. ID okay so let's give this one so one we have given as path variable here and there are path variable and one is the request parameter and the last method what you can write public void art student and uh, it, it request body student Student. So service dot create student so here the request mapping as post because we are going to insert one document. So now make this one as a at the rate rest controller and have one request mapping request mapping let's say um, search tutorial okay so this is done now let's go to our springboard uh, cause space application here and here add the component scan the reason to add component scan is um um the reason is if what happens is um if you don't include don't use component scan it will not uh, uh scan this service implementation class which we are using inside the controller right which uh, um we saw here right it will not identify it will give a pin a not found exception so that's the reason so now let's let's um run this application and see um, see in action Okay, application got started. Now let's say local host Saroj tutorial slash student. So we have the body here zero 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 one two. Okay. Okay, we got two hundred. Okay, then let's go here and check database. See, we got the data over here. Now let's fetch some data. We are using student dot zero 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 two as a two. Uh, zero 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 two. Yeah. So this is the gate endpoint. Get this right. This is a path will get student by ID. Now you do um, f name equal to Saroj. Uh, first name sorry okay so so this is a um, message right for that uh, you need to um, add the nonql support so we'll do it in the next uh, to, um, uh, video so for this um, we got this uh, post and uh, get both create and uh, you know getting the data right so thanks for watching so in the next lesson we'll uh, resolve this problem